MSI usually isn't the first brand that comes to mind when you talk about mainstream consumer laptops. I mean, the company has been making such kind of laptops for a while now, it's just that we rarely notice them because they emphasize so much on their gaming and creator series lineup. Now, this is the MSI Prestige 14, which is part of the creator series lineup. This is a 14-inch laptop that's very slim and lightweight, as you can see. It weighs 1.29 kilograms that matches with the MacBook Air, and it's way more powerful than the MacBook Air, even though if you compare it with the 2020 MacBook Air. This comes with a 6-core processor right inside, and there's some features that I think it is worth than any other laptops of its same class. So this is my review of the MSI Prestige 14 after using it for several weeks. The review unit I received is packed with a 6-core Intel Core i7-10510U CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 2666MHz RAM, 512 gigs of PCIe SSD, and GeForce MX250 graphics. Build quality of this laptop is on point with an all aluminum chassis and has chamfers around that gives it a premium feel. The hinge mechanism is pretty solid where you can lift the screen easily with one hand, while it also tilts the laptop's keyboard for a comfortable typing position. I'm both impressed and underwhelmed with the laptop support selection. It has two USB-C 3.2 ports that support Thunderbolt 3. They support USB power delivery charging up to 90 watts and you get a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. Where I'm disappointed is the two standard size USB 2.0 ports. While it is good for connecting peripherals, MSI could have done a better job by making one of the ports with USB 3.1 speeds. Otherwise, you will need a USB-C dongle to connect external drives for faster transfer speeds. The Prestige 14's keyboard is great to type with its huge keycaps and tactile feedback. It has function keys to disable the webcam and microphone for privacy purposes. Now this is the webcam quality of the MSI Prestige 14. As you can see, the image quality is not the best out there, nor it is the worst as well. But what I'm most impressed with it is the microphone quality. As you can hear, it doesn't capture any wind noise that's coming from my fan or my aircon. So this is a decent conference machine if you intend to use it as one. A fingerprint scanner and infrared camera are present as an added security convenience. The trackpad is wide with very good tracking and palm rejection. It is something that I really appreciate when I work mobile as I don't usually bring along a Bluetooth or wired mouse. MSI considers the Prestige 14 as part of its creator lineup and it doesn't disappoint in two hardware aspects. The 1080p panel uses an anti-glare material and supports 100% sRGB color space with good viewing angles. The loudspeakers fire sound through the bottom but they can sound really loud when maxed out and produce decent low frequencies, although they still aren't as good as MacBook speakers. Accessing the laptop's internals is very straightforward by removing a total of 7 screws. You will need to break the factory seal to remove the final screw, which will void the warranty if you break something inside. The Prestige 14 CPU and GPU are cooled by a large single fan and heat is ventilated to the back. There is only one RAM slot which supports up to 32GB of RAM and you are getting a really fast WD SN730 NVMe SSD, which has transfer speeds of up to 3GB per second. Although MSI markets the laptop capable of handling 4K video edits, it is not able to handle some heavy workflows. I tried editing my videos on Premiere Pro and after some time, the CPU gets so hot that I need to ramp up the cooling fan. Performance is easily throttled and it can take more than 30 minutes to export even a simple 5 minute 4K video project when that happens. Connecting an external GPU solved the problem, where it helps taking load off the CPU during rendering and export. My 10 minute 4K video project got exported under 15 minutes once the eGPU is connected, which is pretty impressive. This also means that you can game on this thing. I used a Radeon Vega 64 in my external GPU and was able to achieve decent frame rates on some game titles. You will need to reduce certain graphics settings due to the limited transmission bandwidth of Thunderbolt 3. Battery life isn't great nor terrible. Based on PCMark's modern office battery test, I got 4 hours and 70 minutes after the 82% of battery drain, where a real-life 1.5 hours movie playback test will use up 20% of battery, which really isn't too bad and I think most people will be able to get used to. 
There's a lot to love about the MSI Prestige 14, but what I'm most hyped about is that MSI is selling this for a very attractive price tag at 4,899 ringgit. Now that's at least 500 to 1,000 ringgit cheaper than competing laptops with the same set we are getting on them. And you could use that extra savings to invest into an eGPU and probably not the latest GPU out there. You probably only just need a RX 580 or a GTX 1060 to enhance your creative workflow performance. Now, that's pretty much about my review and thoughts about the MSI Prestige 14. Do leave me any questions in the comment section down below if you have any. I've also put a purchase link of the MSI Prestige 14 on the description if you're interested to check it out. As for now, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more tech videos from us. Follow us on the usual social media channels and I will see you in the next one.